Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali from Mohammed Acrylics, and today we're going to make a beautiful winter scenery. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. So, the first color we're going to be using is Pastel Heather. Now, I really like this color. If you don't have this color, you can always use a lighter purple or just use purple and add some white to it. And this is just going to give the background some nice brilliance. Now the second color we're going to be using is turquoise and I'm doing the same thing I did with the purple where I'm kind of just moving it in circles and as I always say in my videos you should try to cover all the edges, the crooks, everything that you can. Try to make sure there's no white. And now finally the third color we're going to be using is Prussian blue and this is going to really bring out the winterness that I'm kind of trying to capture. Now I'm also just poking at the turquoise that I added before just so when I blend it in with the sponge it'll just be a bit smoother. So now we're going to get a sponge and we're just going to start blending it. And don't worry just overlap if you have to it does not matter because we're going to add more of the color later on so it's okay. So now take some pastel heather or any purple of your choice, put it on the sponge and start going over the spot where you had purple the first time and then just start blending it in with the turquoise on top. So once you're satisfied with the background, now we're going to make the snow. You can see me just putting white, I'm putting pastel heather, and I want to put some turquoise later on, just because I want a lot of texture in the snow. Like right now, I don't really know what I'm doing, I'm just kind of just spreading it, just so I can have some texture. And you'll see later on that I'm going to change it completely, so for this part, I would suggest just try to make some texture. Now using white, I'm just making some hill shapes and this is just to mimic piles of snow. And then with the rest of the white, I'm just going to drag it down because I want the bottom of the canvas to be fully covered. And again, just to mention, I'm just adding a bunch of different colors just to give it that snowy look. Because if you were to just add white, it wouldn't really look like snow. So you kind of have to add different colors to kind of make shadows and whatnot. And then on top of that, I would just suggest to use the similar colors that you use for the sky, just because it would look more nice. So now I'm going to blend the colors, more specifically the ones that are at the bottom, just because it's going to give it a nicer look. And I'm going to add white on top of them, so don't worry. So now once it's semi-dried, what you want to do is take a brush and then start putting white in random ways onto the canvas. And try not to blend the white too much into the canvas because then it's just going to become the color in the background. What you kind of want to do is blend it around it but not exactly on the white or else it's going to die down. And if it does die down it's really okay. What you could just do is take more white and then put it on top of that just like I'm doing right here. I would suggest doing a couple layers of this just to make it look like there's piles of snow. 
once you're done with that, now we're going to move on to the trees. And one thing I'd like to tell you guys is that each tree is going to be different. So if you decide to copy this painting, your trees might not look like mine, and that's totally okay. It's going to be more unique to you, and I think that's cool. I'm taking a really thin brush that's really pointy and I'm kind of just making squiggly lines on one side and the other. And I'm kind of trying to make them look similar, but not too similar because you don't want it to look like a fake tree. I'm going to speed this part up a little bit because I don't want to bore you guys by making each tree, but I'm doing the same technique with all of them. Where the lines get longer and longer, the lower I get. And now I'm going to make one really big tree in the front just to show the perspective. So this is what I'm doing right here. It's going to be the exact same technique I've been doing. The lower I get, the longer the lines are going to be. And you can see at some spots that it's a bit dry. And so if that happens, just take more color and put a bit of water on it and it should help. And then the fun part about this is you kind of get to choose how many trees you want, so it really doesn't matter. I just made a couple, but you can make more and you could even make less. Now we're going to move on to the stars. I'm taking a brush, putting a lot of white on it and a bit of water. And then I'm taking another brush and I'm hitting it just so some drops fall down. And then you can see that I'm putting a lot on the trees as well just to make it look like it's a really snowy day. And there you have it guys, thank you so much for watching, let me know what you think in the comments below, tell me what else you'd like to see, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, it would really help out my channel. And then one more time I'm going to show you guys which colors I was using, so Prussian blue, turquoise, this pastel heather right here, and then also titanium white for the snow. Thank you once again guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video, take care.